Marines know what to do when going into battle. Don their gear, plan their assault, and attack. But when the opposition is a bunch of kids with Nerf guns, the mean Marines would take it easy on them, right? Got to beat the kids, of course. Well, you know, can't show the enemy weakness. You know, Marines never lose, so we weren't going to lose today. The kids are not. <laughs> Marines had the opportunity to have fun for, you know, for a chance. And even though the Marines show no mercy at the first ever Kids vs. Marine Nerf battle, those Marines were really tough out there. The opposition is no joke either. They were impressive. Uh, they come out of the gun flying and just running around in circles and trying to shoot them with Nerf guns. It wasn't that easy. Uh, you try to shoot them and they were running too fast. You, nobody could hit them. And then they'd all gang up on our guys. And uh, I know I got shot once over a shield with the, the way the bullets fly. So. Yep, it's all fun and games. But the protective gear of the Marines is the real deal. It's our normal uh, armor that we do in training and we go out on deployments. Why are we all of this? All of this is for protection. Uh, also, when we're training in it, we got to be able to uh, build up endurance, moving around, maneuvering. Uh, we also PT in this gear as well. Wouldn't all that gear make the kids a little nervous? No, they kind of look silly. They look really silly. Parents say the foam flying war was more than worthy of praise. I just really appreciate the Marines coming out here and doing that and this is their holiday time to be spending with their families and I really appreciate them. And as the war winds down, most have high spirits and high hopes for Nerf Battle Round 2. I wish I could do this again and I really like this. I wish we could do it again next year. I would definitely want to do like something like this again and I'm sure all the, the Marines agree with me. Petty Officer Shimura Purifoy, Yokosuka Naval Base, Japan.